How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video today. In my last video, we talked about the Apple Vision Pro, the Quest 3, some of the features that I liked, what blew my mind, what was exciting. And I also mentioned about another company called uh, that goes by the name of Xreal. They have a product specifically called the Xreal Air. And what I have here, this is the Pro model, Xreal Air Pro 2. I heard a um, uh, amazing things about the Pro One, so I figured, I figured, let's check this out. I wanted to really see what the hype was about. I'm super excited. Oh, this is nice and sleek. I'm so excited about these. And Xreal did not sponsor this video. This is 100% going to be my opinion, my thoughts. Yesterday, I went out and bought a USB-C to to Lightning adapter. Now I have a I have a iPhone. Pro Max and 13 and I don't know if that lightning to USB-C is going to be an issue we're going to find out in this video but what really excites me about this is the fact that they look like regular glasses they're not huge so wearing it all day long that shouldn't be an issue at least when I'm working and editing videos and my YouTube content reacting to videos and whatnot right and again the beauty of this the ability to be able to have digital displays i think that's called spatial computing right where you don't have the physical item in front of you but it pops things just happen in reality in augmented reality i think that's exciting ever since i heard about it i've been just so addicted to this uh discovery at least it's new to me you feel me so i first heard about spatial computing when apple vision pro was starting to get popular and all of that stuff just to, just for a little bit of context but i don't want to talk too much in the video this is an unboxing i just kind of want to do my unboxing video i usually don't do unboxing videos but here's my impression x real air 2 pro and nice box design this is dope i gotta do this because i want to see i want to just get to ex see what it see the whole packaging and everything i got this camera right in front of me so it's kind of, it's good for you guys but for me it kind of blocks the nice thing i'm trying to look at here designed by x real made in china let's put this apart as we open it here what a nice sleek and i have a history of my glasses breaking and stuff like that and losing them this is one that i'm gonna have to be very careful this cost me x real again did not sponsor this video i spent my own money on this this cost me close to 500 dollars. so i think i paid around 490 for this so wow nice case wow holding it got some weight on them they got some weight on them wow they're definitely heavier than the regular sunglasses which is understandable because of all the tech and features that it has now they also include a USB-C cable which is dope and i like the fact that right the cable also has this thing here where you can just uh, it's the shape is nice so it's just like it's not just sticking out like this one i have here if you can see this one just has that you just like that uh, little attention to detail nice this is perfect for the iphone 15. i'm planning on getting one but i think i'm gonna wait for 16. wow and then you got this i don't use prescriptions so i shouldn't need uh, prescription glasses but this is wild man wow the future the xreal air is really pushing forward the possibilities of the apple vision pros just came out you know how the Apple Vision Pros just came out. I feel like the X Real Airs are pushing the boundaries of what is possible because of the shit. Man, this is wow. Seeing this in person is nice. And I got the version that I got. The Pro stands for the fact that it has right here, I believe, from all the things I've seen, this button gives you three variable nd filters is what us filmmakers call them so this will give you that variable nd filter where you can kind of it's like an nd filter but it's technically just like a shade that covers that gives you a few layers of coverage so that if you're like watching a movie you, you can block out your, in, your environment to give you more of that immersive feeling you're saying and uh, they also include these shade things here that i've heard a lot about and uh you can see what people are talking about they give you this right here you're able to use this just to cover up to give you that extra that extra level of um detail there when it comes to so let me put this on oh man this is pretty cool you really can't see anything with the shade on i could definitely pass 
what am I seeing? Am I seeing? I'll see what I'm seeing. So I am, what I'm seeing is I see this. You could definitely see the sides. So your field of view obviously is different. Com you can't compare this to the Quest or the Apple Vision Pros. And the reason being like, covered on the side here. So you still definitely see things pass through, but I want to, I can't wait to, I'm going to plug it into my phone and then we'll see what that looks like and what we're able to see. Now, I know in order to unlock the full potential for this glasses, you're gonna need something called the, what else is in here? They give you the menu and all that extra stuff. They give you this cloth, which I'm gonna keep that handy because that's, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that the screens will definitely get messed up. This is probably one of the dopest techs. I'm gonna say that I, I've, I've probably purchased in a while. I've been very excited for this. But it's crazy too, because even though I've been excited for this, I haven't really like it. I, this came in like two days ago and I still haven't opened it despite how excited I was. So I'm not, my delayed gratification is in an all time high this year. It's kind of interesting. But so we got the X-Real Air. I'm gonna stop the video, plug it in. I don't know if there's anything else I wanna say other than the fact that I'm excited to see what these glasses will do for my productivity. Edit, mainly editing videos and stuff like that, watching movies, being in the airplane, just being able to enjoy things at a massive scale when it comes to video and stuff like that is really, really what I'm excited about. And I can't wait to test this out. So I got my phone here. I'm gonna plug these in. These are supposed to, I'm not gonna remove, I thought these were supposed to come with different attachments here just to give you, to get that to give us options for fitted for our nose in case, cause I have a big nose, but mine fit pretty good. This is not bad. This is, wow, let me take out this protective case here. Let me see, gotta keep that close. This is so cool. The fact that I, again, I can still see through it. Of course, it's a bit blurry right now due to the fact that I, I do gotta take these things off. So here we go, let me take that off. I should have left my camera on. Let's take those off without touching the screen. Boom, now we got those off. We're gonna plug this right in here. And this other piece goes to our phone. I'm gonna stop my video for that because I don't think I'll be able to do both. But let me put these on for now. Oh, wow, so now that I've put them on, I can see just fine. This is just like, I, I do see, I do get a reflection now. I can see my shirt stuff. I don't like that reflection. Wow, no, that's a heavy reflection, I ain't gonna cap. Well, that's a heavy reflection and i didn't mention these also have i think these also have sound in them i'm so interested i can't wait to hear what the sound quality sounds like let me stop talking let me just plug this in and this is cool because it gives the vibe of that, that it gives the vibe that you have the apple vision pro type of set scenario with the battery but except the battery is whatever you plug it into because these don't have any built-in batteries in them so let me just plug oh i can't i need to use a different cable I'll be right back. So I have a USB to lightning port adapter. So we're gonna plug that in, put this on. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if it's gonna work with my phone because I heard, I saw some other videos and it seemed like with the cable, with the phones that need attachments, if it's not going directly to a USB-C, it might not work. So far, nothing's happening. So chances are this won't work. It's not turning on. Damn, I thought for sure that would work. How do I know if it's, nothing's happening? Shit, so that doesn't work. I'm gonna have to go grab my tablet. Nah, this needs USB-C. I need to upgrade my phone ASAP. If this works, it's supposed to, what I'm thinking, I need to, I would love to go to an Apple store. I'm probably gonna do that later. I want to see what the, because I bought these, when I had the idea to buy something like this, I was in a specific situation and I wanted to watch something, but I couldn't really use my phone, right? And I wanted to, when I started, that's when the idea was like, dude, I need these glasses because these actually do what, these actually do it, these do exactly what he's saying, what I'm thinking in my mind. But again, I'm already starting to feel a certain fatigue here. It's kind of a annoying feeling, but it's not bad. It's just the feeling I get from glasses. So, okay, this is here. Damn, this is not working. Let me go grab the tablet. So this cable I bought is useless. Damn. You gotta be careful too, because I gotta be very careful, man. These things are like, they can break. Let me go grab my tablet. I have to test these out, and it sucks that that doesn't work. Let's put this on. I nebular, 
I got the Nebula app installed on my MacBook. We're gonna go to a brand new screen. We're gonna open Nebula. I'm just getting it all uh, set up right now. So we got the Nebula app pulled up right now. First, let me hit install on this. I'm sorry, let me get this downloaded. We got the Nebula app installed. This is it, but let's test out the tablet first. Plugged in, I still see no power. There we go, oh my, oh wow. It takes a second, unplugged, we're back to reality. Let me plug it back in, that was dope. Let me see, it was a bit blurry though, let me see. Wow, that's dope, wow, this is very interesting. This is blurry, how do I get it to focus? Are you connecting a pair of headphones? Yo, how do I get this to not be blurry? Because I don't use glasses. If I don't need glasses, this shouldn't be like, I don't really know how to. Let's do one thing at a time. So, so far, are you connected? You do have headphones in them. Let's go find a, a video. I don't know why. What video do I wanna? Let's search. I'm over here trying to use the, the iPad screen when I have a screen right in front of me. When that's, I guess that's the cool thing. Dog, I hope this is not best in terms of everything everybody has been saying. Man, this is hurting my eye. I don't know if it's the bl it's because it's blurred. I don't know how to get that. So I used, I don't know if you guys can see that. If you pay attention, you can see how I cleared out. I can see more around me now. It's passed through. Obviously this pass through is good because this is it's a glasses. So there's no cameras or anything like the Quest and the Apple Vision Pros. When I hit that one more time, this is even darker. And now we're back to light and the brightness on, man, it's not bad, bro. This is not bad, but it's, it's definitely not comfortable. It's not as comfortable as I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, the Quest, the comfortability of the Quest and the Apple Vision Pros you can use those longer, I get it, but th this nose part is, is irritating me. The part where my nose sits, that's really, like I heard these can also, must have been a different brand, not this brand. How do I get this to, what does this button do? This should not be blurry. Why is this blurry? So long pressing it, turned it off. Bye. So pushing it messes with the, if you press it, if you push the button towards the bottom, it decreases the brightness, which is good. Cause that's something I wasn't, uh, I was having that issue, I think with my Quest 3, I was trying to in, in, uh, turn up the volume and I wasn't able to do that. But when you do this, this pushing it the opposite direction increases the brightness and this is really bright. Again, I'm trying to figure out, is there a way? Oh no, you can't. Is this the best it can do with the sharpness? Everybody talks about all the videos I saw, they talked about how the sharpness was really good. All of them. But I don't, I don't, I don't, like it's not like crazy blurry, but it's not like tack sharp either. I can see the, 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 let me, let me turn this back on. Let me turn my darkness on. In fact, let me see what it looks like with the, with everything completely black. Let's see. Oh, so with everything completely black, I see the projector on well, my screen is dark now. Obviously, FaceTime, does FaceTime work with this? That's a good point. So FaceTime does not work with this. You're still gonna have to put your thing in. FaceTime does not work with that, if you're wondering. And boom, so this just gives me that. I thought there was more to it. I saw something inside the ca inside the lens. Oh my goodness, this is dope. But if this was just a bit sharper, I don't. Why am I? Why is it not sharp? Look at the sharpness on my on my computer on the direct. Nah, this would not be a better experience. I would rather watch the movie off of my iPad if that was the case. I don't understand. Let me go to the display settings. This doesn't even have a display. I thought this was my Mac. I'm delaying to go to my Mac because I'm delaying to go to my Mac because if it if this is the quality I'm getting here, I'm not gonna enjoy the experience on the Mac. This shit is blurry as hell. Why? I don't understand this shit. Why is it blurry? I don't wear prescriptions. If I have to buy extra prescriptions just to use that, that that already that's not good. If I have to buy prescriptions just so I can see, are you telling me I'm blind when I'm when I know I'm not? I can see everything. I can see things far, close. I didn't have these issues with the Apple Vision Pro and I didn't have this issue with the Quest 3. So why am I having this issue with this? 
That's the question I want to know. This is not, nah, this ain't it. I'm frustrated. I really wanted this to be good. Um, let me see, built-in display, Air Pro 2, allow display mode changes. I'll turn it on, go text. I shouldn't, I don't want to change all the settings just because of, what do you mean by allow display modes? When this is on, the display mode will change to match the dynamic range of the frame rate of the content you are viewing. Oh my goodness, bro, let's, let me just go watch them. Let me put a music video. I couldn't, uh, for a second, I couldn't tell if the, if the sound was coming from glasses or my iPad, but I think it's definitely coming from the glasses. Let me do, yep, it comes from glasses. That sounds good. Decently loud. You can hear it from this. You know what I'm saying you should be able to hear something. Not now, but, oh, they turn off when they're not in my eyes. So it does, the sensors right here. That's what, there are sensors here that tell you pretty much that tells the lens when it's plugged in when it's not now i hear the sound again this is cool but it's not it's not it's, this is not for situations like this that when i can't control the it's not as sharp man this is the sides it's is definitely blurry it's cool this is definitely but like this i can see why i can see this being cool planes stuff like that but this definitely would not replace what I was thinking in my brain. This would not replace my, how does the volume work? Or how can I turn up? This would not replace, there's no way this would replace my, this is not a monitor replacement. Let me see how I look with these. Let me turn my, uh, my ND, my brightness is off. I still can't see, but not bad. I look pretty good with these on. And that's what I love about them. I, I see that and that's, I love the fact that if I can get past the blur, the slight blurry, that's the thing. I would love to test out other other brands that do some, stuff like this. I, you guys can't see what I'm seeing. Let me record the screen. I would love to see other brands. YouTube.com is a full. Okay. I would love to see other brands do stuff like this so that I just want to see if I could find one that does this and has the ability to give me the multiple monitor thing when I connect to my laptop, that would be good. I feel like things like hands, when I, hands like the guys playing the piano, the hands are sharp and it's cool, but it's when the letters are blurry. It's sharp, but they're, 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 they're blurred on the sides. I'm saying it's not perfect. Let me get out of transparency mode. But if you if you push it twice, it turns off the display. The sound is still on, but the display is off. So if you want it, maybe if you were doing something and you couldn't see, you wanted to turn it off for a little bit so you can maybe communicate with somebody, you just push it twice and it'll turn it off. And then if you push it again, then so you could turn it back on. Obviously, you know what I mean. I know when I pushed it, it kind of went off, but you know what I mean. So this button has multiple functions. I don't even know if other people knew that. I, I'm finding this out randomly. So again, I'm saying the more I watch this, the more I'm liking it. When I'm done with this video, I'm going to go and order a competitor to see what theirs would. Um, I know there's other brands that make stuff like this. For, for example, let me see. I'm looking at my monitor. I'm looking at the, the, the thing, not realizing I have this in front of me, but I'm really looking at my keyboard. I'm not the best. For, for example, in a situation like this, where I have this pulled up here like this, I could bear like this. Everything is blurry. Everything is blurry. And the way this vibrates and tickles my right here. That's annoying. Damn. That's one thing about glasses. I don't like. How do you guys do it? People who wear glasses consistently. How, how do you do it? Do I even need this? I think this thing comes off, right? I don't want to break this thing, but I think it comes off. I don't know. There we go. Do I have to have this here? So that brought that off. Let me wipe my, not that it'll matter because what's inside is what matters. You probably don't want to touch the screen though and give yourself all that extra dark. You need it, obviously. This feels so much better though. If you don't, if you don't have it, the sound is not that good. Is that the best sound quality I can, why is it? No, you need it. Cause this is what gives you the ability to so this page right now that I'm on, 
this is annoying so you definitely i need this in there because in order for me to for in order for it to sit on my face this has to be in there but i think they make different apartments you can get for me that's the one that came with it so i'm stuck with that it's annoying it, it makes my nose vibrates my nose i'm not a fan of that that's one thing i don't like about glasses that that weird tingling feeling right there but let me put these back on the volume is fairly low for example let me put my hand here can you hear it that's the max volume let me put a music video what i'll be actually what i would love to do with these the most would be something like reacting to songs i'm disappointed with the with the text quality i don't know if it looks that way due to the fact that and you have to position it properly on your face too if you want the full range if it's too close if it's too up you don't really see the bottom section if it's too low you see the bottom section but you don't see the top section so you have to have it positioned in the ex proper space and for me that's like right here which is still not even perfect because the monitors the screen is too big so i don't know i think i don't know how big how is this supposed to be if the screen can get even bigger up to oh i guess i can see it if it does get bigger but i wonder i can see that there's black bars on the sides so i can get a bit bigger but the question i'm having is if it's blurry now and if it's blurry now and it looks like this it's it's again I don't know why nobody has talked about it. Why are people acting like this is, I've heard, I've heard nothing but positive things. The text is clear, etc. Bro, the text is not, again, I don't know how to explain this without sh showing you guys. I will try to give you an example. When I have this overlaid on the screen, I'll try to give you guys an example of what I am talking about. It, it's, it wants to be 3D so bad. Videos look, videos are cool. Video is fine, but text, even though I can see it, I can read it, it's blurry. It shouldn't be, I don't like that. The Quest 3 was not blurry. It was absolutely tack sharp, perfect, when it came to this. But the problem with the Quest is that there is no direct way to plug in and with, low la with zero latency. This has zero latency because it's connected directly to this. Saying again, this is dope. No matter blurry or no blurry, this is dope. So all I want to do I would really like to go to Amazon and to see there's other companies that make these. I know I have some already pulled up on my, I keep forgetting that this monitor is in my face. I keep wanting to look up too, which is crazy. I can see how this would definitely, definitely improve your posture. Cause you don't have to, you're not doing that all the time. Look how much strain you could just look up. You're good. Especially if you know your keyboards very well. So this would be a great, if you're typing keyboard this would be perfect for like typing keyboards because with typing keyboard it's a little bit easier to see i love the fact that i can just look over and see other things and i don't even have my max my i don't even have my and i have right now i have my maximum without the cover shield on so when i push it now i'm back and i can see more it feels lighter which is a mind thing but it's not lighter now i wonder would the x real beam i'm gonna have to get the beam Actually, that's the only way I'll be able to mirror my, I'm gonna order the beam tonight. Then I see, and that's the thing. I don't wanna get all this. I think the beam works with anything and not just x Real though, right? Can the beam work with other brands? I'm gonna order the x Real beam and I'm gonna order another brand just to test, just to test out what the differences are, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause again, the video looks good. Like this video I'm playing right here, video looks good. <sighs> I'm, this is frustrating me. I'm taking my time. I really don't want to connect to the computer yet because most majority of what I'll be doing with this will involve the computer. So if this is what I'm going to get on the computer, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I'm not I'm not happy about this. Like the text, I wanted the text to be tack sharp. I, I appreciate the quality of the video and I understand you can only do so much. And I appreciate the versatility, being able to connect to whatever. Cause I have a, I have a very beefy a Windows laptop that does not have a, that monitor broke. This would solve that issue. You know what I mean? So, okay, let me see. Do you ever drop the video five days ago? What if you could get your music submitted to over one? Let's try to react to it with the X real being.
I want to look down when I don't need to. I could just see it. And that's the thing, I guess. And that's, I guess with the X-Real being, that's the difference. The X-Real being will give me the ability to keep it stationary. So when I move, it doesn't move with me. Because right now it's moving with me. No matter what I do, no matter where I look, it's right in front of me, which is good for certain situations. I'm starting to like the design to a degree. Oh, that audio is not that good. I can hear the bass already. Bro, why is the volume not loud, bro? This is the this is the maximum volume we can get? Damn. That's the ma wow. Your video is in full screen. I guess it I guess it works because again, this is supposed to be a minimal thing. It's not supposed to be something that makes a lot of noise and I give them credit to be able to pack all of this in here and again you don't need batteries it's battery based on what's connected i mean that you, you gotta you gotta appreciate i'm saying i don't know you guys gotta let me try to see if i can show you what i'm seeing from it's gonna be hard but oh the focus might not work oh it might oh cool so that's what it looks like i have to tilt it so you guys can see but I think that might be the best I can do. So that, that's what I'm seeing. It's very hard to showcase this on, on camera, directly plugged in. Very difficult. I was so excited about this. And I still am. I still am. But the text thing, the, I wish the text thing, I wish there was a way to fix that. that that's really bothering me. I don't want to type in. I just wanna... That text thing is really bothering me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm really bothering me. And again, you just have to keep in mind that if you don't position this properly, if you don't position this properly, you have to keep in mind that it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to see the whole thing. So I can, it's hard for me to imagine what the 330 inch, like what, what that would look like with the beam. That's kind of, because the field of view, it's not that big. You feel me? Like the, the so it's kind of hard to just like see. You can't compare these to the Quest 3, even though they're both this, uh, different products. And what I mean by comparing this feature, not the gaming, I mean, this is not for gaming. Obviously this is for gaming, but like, you know what I mean? This is not for AR stuff like that. I'm all whatever AR gaming stuff like that. It's for d d d anything you would need a display for type thing. For me to really enjoy this experience, this is exactly what I want to be doing with these glasses. For me to really enjoy this experience, I need headphones, bro. I need some kind of headphones uh, that are bigger. Preferably, probably something big, man. Something that's gonna give me the sound I need, but not like, again, the more I use these, I guess I can get used to them, but I, I, it's gonna piss me off knowing that I paid that much money just so I can have something that shows me text that isn't so clear, you feel me? And again, I don't like the fact that this has all of that I can see it's bleeding through, even though I have the darkest thing turned on right now. Man, this is just so dope. Being able to just push that button, boom, and I'm here, that's hard. And then this, and then do that twice, and I'm here like this, that's hard. Because even if I didn't want to use this, I could actually use these as sunglasses if I wanted to. I don't know why you would, because that, that, and now my eyes is, my that nose thing is, my face, my body is getting used to that. Because I don't wear glasses, right? So if I need it, I would have to wear it. My body, it's getting used to, it's not, a, it's not as annoying as it was when I had first put it on. Let me put this back here. Just, I don't want any bleeding going through at the moment. So let me just... Because if I was editing a video, this is what these would be like. Dog, that's hard. So now I uh, literally, I can't see anything. I do see a little bit of reflection, but I wonder if it's just because. No, I, I don't really see much, bro. I don't see anything. It's pitch black. Can't see shit but the screen, which is very interesting. Right, let's go. Again, everything we're doing right now is still, we're still on the mobile. We're still on the tablet. We haven't even touched the computer yet because we can't install the Nebula app on on apple it's not an app store it's only you can only get it on the macbook on the desktop version or just the x real beam and that's the thing about these type of what i know realized too with both technology and with this type of technology what i realized i'm going to unplug these now and i'm going to plug them into my macbook it's the, it's the macbook turn what i realized with this type of technology is with the sound quality oh this is hard but the, the the but the, this is dope man 
But what I'm talking about is still there. This is dope. Oh my goodness, this is fire. Being able to see my Mac screen like this, this size, oh man. This literally reminds me, this reminds me of uh, how I felt when I, when I first saw the Apple Vision Pros. I need to, rec oh, I, I am recording. Well, I'm not recording my screen technically, but can I set this up so I can do that? Let me turn on my desktop screen display. Here. This is fire, man. I don't know what to say. I'm really excited about this. This is so cool. Like I said, the video looks good, but it's not clear. The text looks good, but it's not clear. And that's bothering me. I don't like that. Damn. If the text was a bit more clear, this would be a hit. Using this, knowing that the text is not perfect, you know what I'm saying? Because look, I know, and you can see me most of the time, this will definitely fix your posture. 100%, because most of the time, I'm just looking up. I'm just, it's comfortable, I'm just looking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just looking like, I'm not really, I know it looks kind of funny, right? What does it look like? Let me look at myself real quick. I'm looking, again, I can't see nothing. Keep that in mind. The display of my computer is, showing on my face and I'm able to see them in the glasses. And then since I'm using OBS, I can use it as a mirror. So this is what they look like on the side. So something about this that's dope compared to the Apple Vision Pros, compared to the, what's it called? The Quest 3, my hair, if you have a style of hair like mine, you don't have to worry about it being messed up. You just throw these on and you're good. If I'm gonna, I can't wait. I'm gonna have to find another brand. I think I, I, I had some, there's other companies. There's another company called Neo, Rio Neo or something. I don't know, but they make glasses like these too. I'm so curious to see what theirs will look like because I can see that this was designed mainly for the video aspect, which is what it, that's what matters for the uh, streaming aspect and not technically for typing and stuff like that, right? But that's annoying because you would think with the with this monitor, with the screen being so good, you should be able to, with the screen being so good, you should be able to see. Again, it's not that I can't see. Oh, I got 10% battery life. I got to end this shortly. It's not that I can't see, right? And then I have my brightness and, of course, fix that. I feel like I can almost see the text better when the brightness is lower. Right now I'm focused on the display capture. I see double. I don't like the fact that I see double, double letters. I don't like the fact that when I look, my peripheral is not the best. I can't, if I don't place this properly in the right spot, the top cuts off and I don't like that fact so far. I think I've touched on everything that I can, that, that bothers me and what I like. Biggest one is the blurriness of the text. And I have not heard one person say anything. Everybody said, oh, it's perfect. I don't know if they're using it with prescriptions in mind, but I don't wear prescriptions. So what do I do? Am I supposed to go and get prescriptions that will help? I don't understand. And then on top of that, how do I know? The process is just so ridiculous since I don't really have one. I have to go somewhere where this is kind of annoying. I ain't gonna lie the text thing but let me i got the nebula app installed let's check it out real quick man so nebula let me restart it this is even brighter than my you know it's just as bright but let me make the screen black because that's probably the best way to do it so now i've dimmed my apple display and all i have is this unreal air displays cool it's in my head we good that blurry thing is going to irritate the fuck out of me, but let me get the Nebula app opened. Nebula app is open. Agree. I don't... I agreed, but then it just... The screen went dark. Did my... Oh, no, it's installing... Updating glasses. Oh my God. Please fix... What is it called? Please fix the, 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 the blurry thing, man. If that somehow improves, I'll be so much happier. Nope. It didn't improve anything when it comes to that, when it comes to the aspects of that. You, to use AR desktop, Nebula requires the following permissions. Go to settings and then see, for example, how I can't see the settings. I either have to readjust my glasses because I tried looking down, thinking I would go down, which 
That's where once I'm done installing this, the option for the Nebula app, the stationary one is going to be the best option because this one where it moves with me, that's not it. This does not do it. I have to do this, for example, in order to look down and click on settings. OK, let me go to the camera. All right, let me restart this, man. So now I've started the AR option. Damn, my battery's about to die any second. Okay, so how Nebula, Nebula, where you at? I see how it works. So this feature, wherever I look and push that, that's where it'll set the camera. So the best thing to do, look straight and then hit the reset, refresh icon. Well, it refreshed it for me, which is cool. The text is still blurry. I got two, so this has, this is the two window option. So it takes a couple seconds to give you that two windows. Wow, that's dope. And it's just floating right in front of me. That's hard. So now I got two monitors. I got one here and I got one here. Ooh, play. Is that the camera or is that me? Oh, I guess I'll find out in the playback. This is too shaky. The multiple monitor thing, this is too shaky, bro. It works, but it's, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I'm not going to lie. The text looks better on the, on the second monitor than it does on this. What, I, I'm, I don't know. I, what is it about the text that's just like, I feel like the text looks better now. It's still not perfect, but I feel like it's much better than before. Let me open up the app again. Let me go. I can go here. All right. Let me go here. Let me see what the three monitor setup looks like, because that's what I would be using all the time. If it's not three monitors, then I have this over here. Oh, that background looks good. One, two, three. These are huge. Oh, sense. oh wow. So I can, I can be that far away. That's cool. Oh, I wish it wasn't so shaky, though. But again, what do I expect, right? It's not perfect. It's not. Damn, that's far as shit. I can't even see my mouse. Let me bring it closer to me. And wow, when it is very, when it's 1.5 meters since, wow. Damn, I, I wish I could record my screen to show you guys what this actually like looks like in my eyes right now. Wow. So when it's this close to me, oh, this is, now this is what I think is dope. Being that close, this is still not the closest. You can't compare this level of closeness to that of, for example, to that of the S3 that I tried or the, I, I don't, I never went too close on the Apple Vision Pros, but this is crazy. This is huge, bro. That's dope. It's shaky though. It's shaky. I don't think it's a good thing. I, it's, if there's a way for this to be a bit more stationary, it's like this. So let's say if this is, this, if this is one monitor and this is one monitor, it's like this. It's not, it, it's only like this if I don't move. Even my talking shakes it. So this is good right now. The moment I start talking, you just feel and see those slight jitters. Wow, this is very cool. Of course, I wish, see how I have it zoomed in like this and I can see all this detail. I wish that, I wish this was the case. I See, I, I prefer this better because if I, if I look somewhere, I know where something is, it's there. It's not like the, when it was stationary before, when it moved with me before, the screen looks down. So I can't really see what I'm trying to you know, say. But here, when I look up, it's there. I know it's there. I can take my mouse there. I can do all that. My things, my, my laptop's about to die. This is cool. Uh, let me see what other options is there. I have 2% battery life. I want to zoom this back out a little bit. I think this is, where was it at before? I think it was at, I don't know where it was. Maybe this is where it was before. No, I think it was at three before. Three is cool. Three is not the best, but three is cool. I'll say 2.3. I think that makes a little bit more sense for me. 2.3. But I noticed there's a, this, the mouse is quite slow. It's not the fastest. I'm used to 120. I've been used to 120 for a while. I, I can tell that it's, it's not that. But, okay. And then let me see what the other settings are all about. Three. Man, I'm gonna leave this at 2.3. I know it's not ideal, but 2.3, I'm able to read the text despite the slight blurriness to it. 
and at three meters i'm still able to read the tech but it's too shaky now i'm starting to feel like the option the option where so in order to get the three desktops i need the ar desktop option on but in order for me to, uh, which this is cool this is dope but this is man for the for what i paid bro i want to see what other companies can do now that i've seen what x real can do and i've seen this technology this is awesome i like it i'm not in love with it but let me see i'm at I'm one percent what's this the field of view the angle Ooh, I can move these. I could literally lock myself in a box. Holy shit. So if I do this, so right now I'm all the way in at 1.5 meters, right? Which is very, I think this is dope because of just the limit. I had this limit. I'm limit, lim, limitless, but I'm locked in a box. I could, I look over here and I have the, dude, the freaking the YouTube thing is like the play button and all the big full screen thing is like right there. The only difference is this is not, a VR glasses, the only difference is you can't see my hand and I can't push the button. I would have to use the mouse. That is, where is the mouse? I lost it because it's I'm so zoomed in, I can't see anything. Bro, that is dope. Oh, I can't even, that's what I'm saying, I can't see the mouse. This is not ideal because you can't really see the whole thing. This is way too zoomed in. If you were maybe playing a game of some sort, man, I got this side over here. And then I got this. It looks a bit bent. Why is that? Oh, it's okay. If you look, if you look somewhere long enough, it straightens out. Oh, okay. I see. Well, so one thing, another thing to keep in mind, something I've noticed and realized, what time is it, by the way? 542, because I got to leave here soon. Damn, look at my son. What was I going to say? One thing to keep in mind, this whole time I've been using this, I can see the view so well, even though I can see things around me. Like, this is this is cool, man. But one thing for sure, once they get to the point where they, f they can fix this standard view, if they can fix this standard view and the text is clear, there's a name for this. I don't know what this is called. There's a name for this where things on the corners, like text and stuff, blurry and da da da. But when you zoom in, if you connect to the nebular option, which is this, and you zoom in, once you start the AR desktop feature, and that's what I'm, that's, see, and I wonder, with, with, the, with the Ultra version, right? The X-Real Air Ultra that's already AR, is that the same thing? Like, that, would that need the nebular app, the nebular app to work, and will I need a beam to work? Because if the AR is already built into that device, because this doesn't have any tracking, etc. If that one does that, which means the jitter effect that I was getting earlier may not be happening, right? So I'm curious to see what that would be. Again, I'm, I'm very locked in on this technology due to the, the simplicity of putting on these glasses and they look normal. And I can see what I'm seeing right now at this level, this size. This is very good. I, I like this a lot. And then being able to just go to the black screen thing like that, full, boom. Let me see what the display settings look like on, no, not this utility, look like on this, right? So, oh man, this, how blurry the text is, how I can look down and see my monitor real quick and I see how crisp and clear that is. I wish we were close to that. I gotta darken out my monitor so that doesn't confuse me. But man, this is so blurry, bro. I cannot read the text. I can read it, but it's blurry that it's confusing me. You guys have heard me talk about blurriness throughout this whole video. That's important. To be able to see what you're doing is important. I don't mind the shakiness when I'm in XR mode because it keeps it stationary. I also wish I didn't need to go into station into XR mode just to be stationary. I understand maybe like the multiple monitor thing, but the whole stationary thing, I got it's this is more ideal. This is more ideal because everything's spot on. I thought this was 120 hertz. Why does the nebula max out at 90? Because that's that's a that's very important. Right now, actually, right now. Right now it's 120. I can see it from the mouse. But the Nebula app only operates in 90 hertz. Is that the same with the beam? I would love to know. But let me build, let me go to the pro. Let me see. Okay, I'm at the maximum resolution right now. And oh, the HDPI is for the Retina display things. If you guys didn't know, I'm gonna click that and see if what that does. Cause I know 
this is not a retina display issue because this this even though this looks better and it's bigger obviously if it's bigger it's easier to read that's just common logic but what's bothering me is let me go there let me do that one this is pretty good what's bothering me is now nah, the point of having such a big display so you can you know what I'm saying have more in for, and it's still there what i'm talking about that glowing halo that halo effect on the text that's such a big problem for me i don't like that that's not i'm going back to the default 1920 so that's just something you're gonna have to deal with the only i don't know how to explain this the only way you're gonna have the, in order for me in fact am i able to re record my second monitor using this app can i switch to so it's displaying x real uh, 2 pro that's what it's displaying saved anything i was working on so one thing i realized when using obs if your x real is plugged in and you open obs it may not see it if you have it like this issue i've had i had to restart it the last time you may not see it pop up or if you see it pop up and you try to edit it it might go away so what you want to do is open obs and then plug your x real in to solve to so that way and those is, you don't have to deal with those issues so as you can see now it's there all i did was restart and my desktop showed again so i don't know why it does that because right now it's showing my built-in retina display my uh, it's what i'm viewing so if i just switch it now and then i'm gonna cool let me go back to the display settings i wonder if i only made if i made these my main displays which it's my main display right now right the blurriness is messing with my viewing or my it's messing with my eyes it's making my eyes hurt hurt I'm trying to figure this out, man. Is there a way I can fix this? Because I really like this. I really like this. I wish I could fix this. This is this is not fixable. You just just something you have to be. You just have to manage it. I think people who have this only use this for for editing, maybe to see your video and just to have the larger screen display. You're not using this because this is definitely not replacing your monitor. It's dope to have. It's fun. I can see. I can see, oh, well, if you ha depending on what you have, if you have a really long cable, this one here, which is something I need to check if this cable will work for other things. But if you have a really long cable, you have a wireless mouse and keyboard, the ability to just sit down and put these on and just be away from your, that's dope. I like that because they do sell long cables. That's dope. Or you can even get a, like a Bluetooth well, that then would be, you don't want anything like that because you want to stay, you're not, once you add anything wirelessly, you're now making it less responsive. And this is very responsive, plugged in, is direct contact. So this is all right. I'm done talking about and stressing over the quality of the text and not being able to read it. So if you just remove that out of the way, the quality of the video is good, good enough to be able to, it's not, Obviously, it's not Quest 3 quality. It's not Vision Pro quality. The Apple Vision Pros even, bro, the, the text was tack sharp. It, it's not something to compare. The text is 100% sharp. Let me see what else. What else can I say about these right now? So I wanted to try out the Nebula one more time. See, maybe there's some stuff I'm missing. I'm just going through the testing these all the way for the first time. Hopefully in the future, they get to add a feature where for the Nebula app where you can do 120. Right now it's 90 and here we are. Nah, this is cool, man. I just love this type of thing. So let me put, I'm gonna look straight and reset it so that way I'm in the center. And then now I'm here. I don't like the, the angle being 90 degrees, that's silly. I think before they had it at 100 and 180 is just straight, I think this is where they had it before so yeah this is cool when you when i'm this close the text is much better again this is just something i have to get used to you can see the field of view when you go left and right i can see the box now of what happens how it's being projected what's happening in terms of the technology i can see my reflections on the stuff i see how the box while compared to and I do quest, the field of view is all the way. I can actually see my other monitors when it's this close to me. You feel me? Because here you can't, it cuts it off. So right now I only see 
portions and it's because I'm zoomed all the way in. If I zoom out, obviously, and that's, I guess that's what we're missing. The difference with this being able to at Vision Pro, I could just pinch and push it back. In the Quest, I can do this. I can use two fingers, pinch using the immersive app, push it back. This one, you have to just click and then move. So I, I, I'm gonna get the Nebula, um, I'm gonna get the beam just to see you know, what that's like. But guys, this is cool. This is so far away. This is way too far. Like this, you only want it this far if you're doing one screen and you want, and that's the thing, you don't have to have, this looks better than the first time I tried it on. It, it's not as shaky. Again, cause you have to keep in mind it's on your face, right? There's no vibration compensation, which I don't know if that's something that the other version, the other things have. The way the Apple one stays, when you put it here, it's, it stays there. This one stays there, but it's it's shaky. It's not perfect. I'm saying it's it stays, man. It's there for sure. No, that's dope. I like that. Now the angle, I don't know if this is the angle I want, and I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out. I want the angle where I don't have to turn too far to see. No, that 153 is perfect. It's, it's perfect. That's cool. I like that. Now for the distance to set the perfect settings for me, they might already had it at the perfect distance like that. That middle, the default settings might be the perfect settings, but for text, no 2.3, 1.5 is the best for text and one, one, two, three, one, two. So three meters is the, is the best I would probably stick to and still have a decent amount of things in frame. This is probably 2.3 meters is probably where I would be at if I want to be able to see the text really good and still have a decent amount of things in frame, but I, there's definitely things out of frame. But because you're in AR desktop, before, because you're in the AR mode, it's locked in place. So you can easily look up, look, and get to see what you want to see. But that that that's horrible man that this the, the fact the whole text thing that sucks and i i'm I, again i hear a lot of things about x real air i haven't heard too many things about the other companies so if you like this type of content like comment subscribe i'm gonna check out other brands that create do stuff like this i'm on a quest to find the perfect one that works for me where i can get this same type of thing but except the, the the text is more clear when i'm in default settings for example this is their default settings i want to be able to see the text I'm saying i want to be able to see the text this is perfect settings right now. i want to be able to see it without having to in whatever I'm saying and if I need prescriptions, I'll go get that. But I, I don't wear glasses, so this should be perfectly sharp. So I'm going to leave it at 2.3 for now. But ideally, 1.5. I'm going to mess with the 1.5 when I'm editing a music video just to see. This is kind of dope, man. Like, to be able to just like... The problem I'm seeing when I'm this... When I'm 1.5 distance in. The problem I'm seeing is the fact that... I can really notice the frame rate difference when I'm really zoomed in. You feel me? It's harder to tell it's 90 when it's like here. It's not so bad. It's, it's, it's a bit faster. When I'm all the way in, all that detail that it has, because obviously the more zoomed in you are, the more details you're able to see. This is pretty cool because even the further back I go, the, it feels like it moves with you. This is actually dope. It's fun. It's cool. I can edit like this for fun, knowing and you know what I'm getting. I can browse like this. I can surf the web like this. This would be very good for someone who, if the text in the screen or computer is too big for you and you can't really see too, this is a good way to just use this to you know, dive in a little deeper and see things in a way that you've never been able to see them before. And I guess when you're that zoomed in, you might as well increase your, your, your angle. For the, That's what I'm trying, I, I can see, now this starts to make a little bit more sense to be able to lock yourself in a 90 degree angle. Man, this is just, I can't, I can't get over how dope this is. Even though I, that glowing effect is annoying. That glowing effect is there. It's harder to tell. I'm gonna go back to 153. It's harder to tell when you are watching a video. The videos look good, like I've said, but in fact, I even wonder if Netflix will work here. But this is the best I've, because DR, uh, some, apps and companies with the DRM set up. Another thing, this has a feature where you're able to put things, wow, 
this is when you, it's so weird when you zoom when you swipe up like this you can see the glasses you really notice that you are you really notice that there are two projectors in your eye when you try to do this when you try to zoom out because it's trying to separate it's trying to show me two things it's so weird. It's such a weird... Right now, this looks so weird. I don't know why it looks like that. I can't describe what I'm seeing. But when I get out of it, for example, it's back to normal. That's strange. What is that effect? When I zoom up, it looks like it's trying to separate or cut off my eyes. If I feel like my eyes are looking this way, which is so... Very strange. I've never... It's a weird... It's a really weird feeling. And then when I click somewhere, I'm back to this back to normal i'm gonna put this back to two point no three meters or 2.3 is that what i said is three is my default why because i feel like i can i can see more three is my default 2.3 if i really just want that extra closeness but i'm gonna stick to three for now because i can see the text a little bit better everything is stationed let me go to one display I feel like with one display, I feel like there's less there's less stuff going on. There's less distractions. Definitely doesn't look as dope. Nothing changes. It's the same. So I might as well have three. I might as well have three all the time. Why not? The delay is annoying, but again, this is a technology that doesn't really have too many things built inside of it. This is just the glasses just powered by this and the software. I think Xreal, you guys did a good job. I like this product a lot. If you guys could just fix that play settings situation, if you could fix that, we good. We golden. There's really nothing else to say. There's nothing to worry about. See, I got this quest right here. When I put it in there, you can just the field of view, everything. You start to really appreciate devices like this. Trying to put all the things, this stuff, the, the weight alone should be able to tell you just how much tech is on here. Trying to put all this stuff that's on here and the beauty i like these glasses so much too being able to do for example what i'm doing right now record this being able to record this and if i want to do a talking head video turn this on look at myself i can see my i can set this up obs see my I can basically my computer monitor my camera monitor is right in my face so i can set this up not only see myself but I can also have like a teleprompter here and I'm looking at the camera. I could do all kinds of things. I can check every settings that I want to check. Wow, that's dope as hell. And you would never know what I'm doing. I love that. That's dope. That's hard. This is literally what I've been, this is what I've been um, looking for, something like this in a sleek fashion, right? This is dope, man. I would definitely, I would take this over a uh, secondary portable monitor which is what i was almost about to get before i started getting to this whole ar xr vr thing they've done a great job you can't compare this to this even though the prices are the same damn i can't justify the price being the same you could do way more with this but this company they're able to price this again because of the fact i want this to be a little bit lower so if you want it to be a little bit lower for example you look where you want to look and then you hit the recenter. I wish there was a button somewhere, just recenter. That would be hard. So this is this is much better. Cool. So you can't compare this to this, but I guess you're paying that price because of the fact that look at the size, bro. You compare this. This is so obvious. You feel me? Matter of fact, which reminds me, I should probably take. Use, that's gonna be for my thumbnail. I needed that for my thumbnail. This is an amazing technology, and I I can't can't get enough of it. I wish the text was sharper, but that's the only thing I, that's the only, that's the biggest negative thing I can say throughout this whole video I've been talking about. I don't want you guys to think this is like, the text is like that bad. I don't know how to, I can't really capture, the, the, there's no way for me to record what I'm seeing through this. So I wish the text was, other than that, there's no other way to show this or prove this to you guys without, maybe I just have to have another person put it on to get their, inter and to get their feedback. And, but other than that, man, these are my favorite settings. The size, what is that? So I have the size. I don't even think I messed with the size. I don't think I messed with the size. Hold on. I don't think I messed with the size. I messed with the distance. The size and the distance are two different things. So I can, I can get even closer. Damn. Oh man, this is now this sharpness level is ridiculous. 
This is insane. Bro, I can get even closer? Oh my God, this is, bro, this is huge. This is, you see, and that's, I guess that's where the angle problem becomes a thing. See, with the Apple Vision Pros, when I am this close, I can still see uh, more than I can see now. When I'm on the Quest 3, I can still see more than what I'm seeing now. But this, this is very, sh if there's a way you guys can make it this sharp, when I'm zoomed out a little bit more, this would be, per maybe I can figure it out. Let me just go, let me mess with the settings real quick. So if I'm this zoomed in, right, let me go back to default. So this is with no zoom at all. This is with no zoom. That's small monitor. Then you have, this is pretty big. This is pretty, this without the zoom, the sharpness is not the problem. It's this glowing effect, which made sense why when I turned the brightness down, it seemed to look a little bit better because it's less glowing going on. So I'm gonna turn it down a notch, two dBs down, but I still want the big size factor. Man, this looks a lot smaller now than before because the default was at 1.8. So if the default is at 1.8, let me double that. One, two, three, one, two, three, 2.5. 2.5 is so good, I could read this, this is good. Let me put the distance back a little bit. Let me put the def d uh, the d distance to to default, and then let me zoom in a little bit more. Man, now I can see better. So the distance when it's back here, I can't. This is not unless you're watching something. This would not be an ideal setting to keep this on. So there's a reason why they had their default like this. This is. And that's the thing, the longer you look at it, you get used to it, your eyes get used to it, and you can almost see past the glowing blurry effect. Now for me, what I'm looking for, I might have been able to figure it out by messing with the zoom. Now I'm gonna zoom in to that, that's still kind of blurry, it's okay. 2.5, I don't really wanna go more than 2.5 because I feel like the quality of the, you start to lose that quality, but then again, when you realize you're looking through a projection, size, fact thing is very important for me to bypass that blurriness the fact that i had man now this is good i like this 2.5 2.5 i could work with i like that. that this is good if i want to be extreme i'll just put it all the way to 3.5 or even three was good three is good because of the the size the text size Everything is bigger, but the text is easier to read, which is my problem that I'm having right now. I don't, if I can somehow get it to, see, the more I look at this, the, uh, just getting my settings right. You guys can leave if you want, but this is just me talking about my experience. I'm really putting this through with paces. Two, three, five. And I'm, I'm using the, 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 I'm using the black section to, to calibrate my eyes. When I look at it from here, at three, I can see the settings, the long press to the reason, and then uh, I can see everything here, but like these over here, I don't know if you guys can see on the screen, bottom left there. These are harder to see. Now let me change it to, you know what? For now, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave the size at, at 3.3. Poo, this is, I'm the only one who gets to see this. That's the thing. So let me, I'm gonna leave the size for me at 3.5. So I know that like, I'm trying to, because I want to get the most in my frame, but I don't want to sacrifice quality. I don't see a big difference. So I'll leave it at three. In fact, I'll leave it at 2.8. In fact, I'll leave it at 2.5 for now. I'll double it. And then the distance, the distance I had before that was, man, this, wow. The distance is just even closer to me. That just blows my mind how this is. This is I have never seen anything like this. I don't know what to say, but this is freaking cool. This is dope, man. When you have it this close, everything looks good. This is good right now. Of course, I would never record. This is only for a specific type of things. If you're drawing, doing art, maybe 3D modeling. Wow. To be able to just like, this would be dope for stuff like that. Because this is huge. What I'm seeing right now is like the screen is right there and everything is... And that's not even the largest. This would be the largest size here. So this is the largest I can go. This must be the 330 inch. That's a lot. Of, I don't even know. What the? Sometimes I get lost 
on where, where is the mouse? I don't understand, how am I seeing the mouse, but I'm not seeing the mouse? Wait, yo, there's another, I'm, con I'm so confused. Is that the reflection or is that another mouse? Bro, I'm so confused. What? Is there, an, what monitor am I looking at right now? This is another monitor. This doesn't make any sense. I was wondering about this earlier. My screen is black right now and I can see the mouse. It doesn't make any sense because I'm wondering, where is this? I'm wondering where, where is that coming from? Here is my mouse now. So what is that? Like what exactly, how do I get to that screen where it's like there's an extra monitor that wants to, an invisible monitor that's there, but it's not there. Cause now I don't see it anymore. I had to like, oh, see now it's out of there. Oh, oh my goodness. If you're not careful, there's literally, so your, your monitor can actually get lost in 3D space. Your mouse can get lost in 3D space if you let it. So that's something to be mindful of. That's kind of annoying. What the f... Wow. And it's harder to navigate when you're so zoomed in. So you might not want to do that. But the default distance at 3.8 meters with the zoom at 3.5 is... That's decent. This is not bad. But I think I would prefer... I prefer the 2.3, which is the 2.3 meters. I would prefer the 2.3 meters for distance. And then the size at one point, if that's the case. Because the closer it is to me, the easier I can read it. The point of the size would be so it's easier to, again, read. So 2.5 is, that's good, man. That is a good size. So I'm going to go back to 3 meters, maybe even 3.8, which is the default. But I'm zoomed in at 2.5, so I'm able to... I'm compensating anytime I, something like that. This is cool. I like this size right here. When you first look at a monitor like the 16 inch MacBook Pro and how good it is, when you throw these on, it's almost like your eye is recalibrating itself to focus on the type of monitor this is because it's super, super, super sharp. And then you go to this and then you, it's sharp, but you realize it's not at the same time. It's kind of hard. Again, these type of technologies are things you have to just see for yourself. But man, I think that's all I have to say for this today. Oh, and I'm back on to the regular. Whenever you disconnect this, you have to turn on the nebula to really be able to control this further, deeper, 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 uh, deeper levels. But at standard view, this is, I don't know why I, I like this so much now. at standard view because I like this mode where it just follows you around. It works. It feels so much more responsive than the AR mode because it's, again, I think it's also because of the, the frame rate. There's something about this that is just dope. I could just sit here. This is cool. This is not bad, man. Again, I'm gonna test out the other ones. I'll see what I like which one, um, by the end of this month, I should have a good idea of which brand does what I like the most, the best. And, um, but for now, even though this is huge and bulky, this is definitely my favorite way of spatial display, spatial displaying whatever desktop, for example, to space. Of course, it's different. I can't connect my phone to this and see my phone. I can't connect. This is a different, unique type of tool. But let me know what y'all think, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all take it easy. Peace out. I'm out.